Alright, I'm in rare fucking form tonight. Because tomorrow, we go to war with a team that has been a pain in my fucking ass for the last seven years. And that is the then San Diego, but now Los Angeles Chargers. The bitch made team. I'm sick of these motherfuckers. They've been a pain in my fucking ass for seven years. We can never beat this fucking team. And half, and most of the time, they're shittier than we are. Philip Rivers obviously has had our number since he's, I mean, I think he's, what, 8-1 and one against us? Fucking, um, Melvin Gordon's good. And you got Joey Bosa and Melvin Ingram, the two defensive fans. Other than, and, you know, Keenan Allen, I mean, somehow he hasn't gotten injured yet. But other than that, that's pretty much all this fucking team has. Philip Rivers, Philip Rivers has done a number on us, but he hasn't faced any type of defense like what the fuck we got now. So, we need to get after his ass, make his old 16 kids have an ass life a living hell. Motherfuckers got, motherfuckers got enough, is going for enough kids to build a goddamn football team. And also... I'm so happy the prodigal bitch returns. Gus Bradley. We all remember Gus Bradley. He'll be forever remembered as the biggest piece of albino orangutan shit that has ever put on a fucking headset and coached the Jacksonville Jaguars. What the fuck was he? 14, what, 39? Something like that? Some bullshit like that? In four fucking years? What's sad is Doug Marone's probably going to have more wins by next year than this bitch had the entire four years we, he was here, which is fucking sad. And let me and let me address this real quick because I've been getting comments on videos late, lately about this. Was I not happy about Doug Marone at first? No, I wasn't. But the reason being, I thought there were better candidates out there that we could have got as our coach. But, and not, I understand why, and Doug Marone's proved himself to, self to me. So, like, I'm okay with it now. The guy's winning us games. So, you know, and it turned out I was wrong. Doug Marone was exactly what this team needed, and it's showing. So, there you go. Jagged off was wrong. So, Y'all can have that little y'all can have that little moment. Even the fucking goat's wrong sometimes. But anyway, back to Gus Bradley's bitch ass. This is another reason why I want to win this game. Undi Matter of fact, this is another reason why I want to embarrass this fucking team. Gus Bradley wasted and destroyed this team for four fucking years. Four years of shit seasons that we will never get back. <clears throat> I want Blake Bortles to make a mockery of this fucking defense. I want Leonard Fournette to put up 300 yards. I want to have, I want to give this team the most embarrassing defensive performance it's ever had in its entire fucking life and have it fall solely on Gus Bradley. I really want to call, I want to cost this bitch his job. If that's even possible. I want to cost him his fucking job. I don't ever want to see this bitch work in the NFL again for what he's done to this organization. I want to beat the fuck out of the Los Angeles Chargers. I hate this fucking team. Like, besides the Colts, Texans, Titans, you know, the Ravens, the Patriots, um, <clears throat> let's see who else, the Giants, the Foreskins, there are... It's, the Los Angeles Chargers is right up there on that list of teams I can't fucking stand. I want to destroy these motherfuckers. Like, y'all think, think I'm bullshit. You really think I'm bullshitting about this team? I hate this fucking team. They've been a pain in my ass for years. I want them fucking destroyed. It's always a little hard to hear I me. Mean, my heat's not working in my house. I don't give a fuck. But... Well, it's not. Well, it's work. Well, it's working. I just don't feel like turning the shit on. I got bills to pay, motherfucker. 
I want this team. I want this team to suffer a massacre. I want to beat the fuck out of them in our house. I'm not gonna be on a. I'm not gonna be on a take losing to this team. I want to destroy them. I want to mangle them. I want to just fucking annihilate them. And his team really isn't shit, so he should have no problem doing it. We're a two team we're on a two team take race for the fucking playoffs right now with the Titans. We can't afford to fuck up. Cause we gotta be right cause we gotta be right there with them by the time New Year's Eve gets here. And we gotta go play these bitches again. There's no room for error. And we have to make, and we have and we have a gravy fucking schedule up until we play the Seahawks. So this right here, we need to make an example out of the Los Angeles Chargers. We need to We need to pretty much end their fucking season. Make Philip Rivers ass life a living hell. Let not, not let Melvin Ingram or no shit, Melvin Gordon do shit. <clears throat> not let these fucking two stud defensive ends they got do shit. We have to, in all phases of the game, be the better team on this fucking field field on tomorrow. So there's really not much more to be said. I want to embarrass the shit. Oh, and uh, but uh, let me emphasize more. I want to embarrass the shit out of Gus Bradley's defense. I want to destroy. I want this team to fucking leave our city embarrassed. And I want to know what it's. And I want them to know what it's like to receive to receive an ass whipping. And they're also going to know what it's like to receive the gift, the gift of Jagannath. Drink it in, man. All right. That's it. Jaguars, this this week, man, don't fucking disappoint me. Please do not disappoint me. Please beat the fuck out of the Los Angeles Chargers. That's all I fucking got to say. This is your boy, Jagging Off, and I'm out. Duval! Fuck you too, Gus Bradley.